What is up guys, in today's video we have another Inside the Mind style video where I'm going to walk you through my thoughts and decisions as I play in Fortnite Zero Build. As always, if you guys do enjoy this video, remember to give it a like, subscribe if you like to see more, and comment down below which of the three vault locations is your favorite this season. So between Brutal, Shattered, and Mega, mine definitely has to be Brutal and that's where we're going to be landing this game. I, I feel like it's pretty densely packed, like there's a good amount of people that go here and the POI really isn't that large, so I feel like you're able to clear it really quickly. Get the vault and then kind of move on with your game quickly because there's launch pads here as well, which I don't have you like it for those reasons. I never really enjoyed this POI last season, but I've been uh, going there a good amount this season. I think most of my 20 kill games this season have been out of brutal, especially when you get an early bus like this. It can go very, very well. We'll see how it plays out. It can also go very poorly because it's like I said, there's usually a good amount of people that go here and it's not the largest POI. You might just have to fight like four people off spawn with some like nothing weapon, you know? My drop is not the greatest whatsoever. There's a weapon here though that we're gonna get. Havoc pump. My favorite shotgun, but not the best weapon to have as your only weapon. Because you definitely want some sort of follow-up with this weapon. We get the tactical pistol. And we get the SMG and the slap juice, which is gonna be nice for us. Also, this POI is like a really good amount of floor loot, which Makes it pretty easy to find a katana here, typically, because the katana only spawns this floor loot. So, you want decent chance of getting one. Obviously, you could just land at one of the places with the sword racks. But if that's not your thing, any place with a lot of floor loot spawns typically will give you good odds of getting a katana. Somebody on a zip line over here. Would like to get a red eye because a lot of people just end up launch padding here, and if you don't have a red eye, it can be like kind of inconvenient to shoot them out of this guy. I feel like I'm just so much better at shooting people out of the sky with the red eye than any of the other ARs. This one can do it, but the damage isn't the best, so. They're not already weak. It's not likely to go your way. And basically when you land at one of these vault POIs, if you do land at it, you just want to have it cleared before second zone because the boss spawns in second zone. So it's not like we're in any rush here. We still have like a decent amount of time before the boss spawns. You do have to worry about like people coming from other places though. And that is one reason why it's pretty nice to just clear it kind of quickly. Because then you could deal with the third parties kind of as they're rolling in. And not really get caught off guard by them. There was somebody else that just landed like kind of behind me now. So I just want to get away from where I killed that guy and then heal up. I maybe could have healed in there and got it off. But I think it's better just to reposition so we don't get third partied by that player. This is kind of like what I was talking about before. Like it's going to be pretty difficult to shoot this guy out of this guy with the Havoc Air. And he's just going to pad back and forth. Like for whatever reason, this is like a somewhat common place that I feel like that you run into in this area. Is people that just kind of go back and forth between all the launch pads. And unless you get like good damage on them before they pad, it's like kind of inconvenient to translate that into a kill. Like, it's just not likely to occur. Like, close to 90 damage we just got there, I think. He's just gonna pat again, though. I went way too far with that blade. Like, I was trying to get on top of the thing that he was patting from. He's probably just gonna leave, though. Okay, that's fine. He'll probably like heal up and then come back. Like I've played this POI a decent amount and that's like typically what occurs with people like that. Is they just kind of like linger and pat around until you like full elim them.
could have gotten Keymaster there, but I don't even think there's any hollow chests here. And I also don't really care about getting anything out of the hollow chest because I'm going to be getting a mythic pump soon from eliminating the boss and opening the vault. One thing I do like doing though is if I clear this area quickly, like we have time to waste, I like to just break all this stuff down here. Like check the vault once you've cleared the area because sometimes people just play to immediately camp the vault. Also like getting rid of all this stuff here. That way if someone does try to come in and camp the vault as I'm eliminating the boss, like there's not really anything for them to hide behind. Somebody katanaing from like east it sounded like. Dang, we were just barely off on a few shots there. That little wiggle protected him. And threw my ammo. I don't know why he immediately padded again, though. I feel like it was a really bad play from his part. Like, I mean, obviously he doesn't want to fight because I just fried him. But also, I just fried him. So it's, like, pretty obvious that I'm going to be able to shoot him out of the sky when he does that. This man has 12 HP. Maybe he has more than that. I thought they had 250 health. Maybe they have 300. I think I just heard shooting over there somewhere. I don't see anything though. So we're just going to go get the vault. You always want to be careful. Where's the key card? You always want to be careful. Even though I already cleared it, like, you never know with, like, the vault campers. Like, they're the most, I, I don't know, sneaky individuals ever. I feel like I've had so many times where I clear the vault, and then, like, somebody sneaks in here even after I, like, cleared all the stuff down there and checked it before the boss spawned. Like, their timing is perfect. And now we got the best shotgun in the game. We have access to this other loot. It's unlikely anything is gonna matter for me here though. Yeah, I, I feel like I rarely get an item that I actually want out of those other chests, which is fine. We got the mythic pump and the slurp juice, which is what I really wanted. I don't care that much about AR SMG rarity. Now we can just pad over to this other area and then pad to mid map. That's like typically what I do. Actually, there's a guy here that we can fight. That's tragic. I think that guy's really one shot. Where did he go though? He should stick out super easily here. Homie's rocking the green skin. But I do not see him. But yeah, after playing Brutal, um, I kind of just like padding to this area here. And then from here, you can kind of clear all this area and then also like easily pad into mid map. Unfortunately, that guy got away from me twice. I think this player is just going to play the top of the shack. The man had a crown. Give me. That's an NPC. It has like the weird effect on it. We can just go for this. I think this guy's like really, really, really weak. Bro, imagine he gets away from me again. Like the third time I broke this player's shield this game. I 
Okay, and at this point in the game, we're getting relatively close to when Island is, want is gonna spawn, so I like to just position myself somewhat near mid-map. That way we have, like, decent uh, ability to get to the Island when it spawns. Let's katana it up to that to see if I would hear any footsteps. But I didn't hear anything. Island's probably going to spawn somewhere over here this game. Like, it has uh, several different spawn locations, but most of them kind of tend to be clustered near the middle of the map. Like, whatever side of middle of the map is, like, closest in your zone, like, over here, would be that for this game. Somebody gliding behind me. Glider audio is so weird this season, though. I barely ever hear them, but, like, we see them on visuals. So they likely landed somewhere in this gas station. They got in a car. I feel like audio. I feel like visuals have been good for a long time, but it's almost even better this season for that reason. Oh god, he's got the sniper NPC. I got sniped by these ones the other day. It didn't kill me, but it like hit me. It was concerning. All right, we're just gonna let him go. He's just gonna be weird. I, I feel like people like that in cars, like sometimes they just get in or like once you shoot their car or they flip or something, they'll fight you. But that guy's like entire game plan is around the car. Like even when he flipped it, he didn't care. We just save this augment. We got the pizza and splash augment. We can just wait until I need it. I mean, it's not the biggest deal because we have slurp juice and we should be able to get more slurp juice from the island. So it's not like I'm desperate for heals, but there's like not really any other augments I want in the game like the augment pool Even though they added more this with this week's update. I, I feel like the augment pool is still just mostly Things that don't matter that much And so we save this and get extra heals if we need it. It's like I said, it's not the biggest deal one way or the other like the augments Fell off pretty hard this season in comparison to last Nice. Now we have to wait for this to spawn, but I, I think being the first one on the island is like a pretty significant advantage. Like, I, I feel like it's easier for the person who's already on the island to play the fight than the person who comes up. These are both AI. They're just shooting way too long without killing each other. Like, that's one of the easiest ways to tell AI. If somebody's shooting just, like, if both players are just shooting lots of AR shots and nothing is, like, occurring in the fight, I feel like more often than not, it's drones. I think I just saw somebody over there. I like destroying this tree on the island, too. So it doesn't block me when I katana up, and then also just so someone doesn't, like, sneak try to capture the point because if you're on house and someone just decides to try to capture the point from the tree you end up in a weird situation where you have to like spray the tree out or like drop down there and fight them and i, I think it's easier just to like pickaxe it when you can and then the person who has house will have an easy time killing anybody on the point and i've talked about this so many times but like when you capture the island i feel like you just want to be most concerned with maintaining control of the island if you control the island you'll eventually capture the point but you don't really have to be in any rush to capture it. Like, the people who are gonna con you will con you. Get rid of them, and then you capture it in the free time you have. I don't know what this player is doing. He, like, dove straight down. Maybe he didn't mean to rift. I don't know. Some people just, like, re repetitively rift. Sometimes when you're up here and I don't really know why like I think maybe their thought process is that like eventually Somebody else will rift with them or something or like you'll get third partied and then at that point they'll be willing to engage There's like a like very Picky about the fight Like they don't want to play it unless they're third partying somebody. I'm not really sure this is another reason to capture the island. Even if you don't care about the pulse, if you don't care about slurps for some reason, like, just having eyes over, like, most of center zone at this point in time, I feel like makes it so easy just to, like, pick up 
several free kills. Even if I didn't kill that guy right there, like we could have pushed him if I chose to. Is this area going to be forced out? No, that's still in zone. Nine opponents remaining. Not really sure what happened to that guy that rifted, but he should be somewhere around here still. Because he just dove straight down. It's not like he flew away. I mean, he could have dove straight down and then left, but... I don't know, man. This is always the most questionable point in the game. In season two. It's like, what do you do from now until the game is over? Oh, maybe he went into a tree. The player that rifted? That's possible. People be camping trees hard this season. I've actually started using the trees myself sometimes. Like, not necessarily to camp them, but, like, you can just, like, katana up to it. And then you have, like, a position of advantage over some fight. Like... That one didn't quite work out. But if I had gotten in that tree, we would have just had, like, great line of sight on him while he was, like, on that building. It throws a lot of people off guard. Probably didn't need to pop that slurp there. I could have used my pizza augment, but I, I feel like it's best to just not be greedy. Because that player did fry me there. They didn't seem to be the best, but their initial opening tags were great. Like, had they been more decisive and just pushed me off that, then that's like 90 free damage to open the fight or something that they got. So I just take the slurp. I think it's better to waste it or like use it when you don't need it potentially than like not use it when you did need it, you know? I feel like that's one kind of downside of the slurp for some players is that they overvalue it and so they don't, they're like more picky about when they want to use it. I would do that back in the day with chili splashes sometimes. Like I, I didn't want to use them. And it almost made me like bad for to have them because like yeah you have heals so you can use them to heal i actually could have popped a slip right there too that player had some that's another thing a lot of players in game will have them because there's like several different ways to get them from the island from the supply caches the vaults and a lot of people go for those things so you can often get refreshes on players you eliminate don't know what happened to the player that duck was chasing or that chicken was chasing See if there's anybody in here. Not really gonna check this building, but I feel like oftentimes if someone's riding a building and then you just katana up to it, they'll like start moving around and then you'll get visuals and hear them. This is like kind of a bad spot to be though, because we're just center zone. This is a pretty open zone with a few players left alive that don't seem to be doing anything. Golden egg here is for gold. I guess we'll get that. I think I may have just heard somebody. Yeah. But yeah, I didn't want to be center because with how this game's playing out and how every game plays out this season, there's probably a lot of snipers. And so, like, most of them are going to be on the outskirts looking center. It's not always the case, but I feel like that's often how people play. And so, I kind of like chilling edge a lot this season. Just to limit the angles you're exposed to or the angles you really have to worry about. But with more more and more people sitting in trees, there's like a never-ending amount of angles you have to be concerned about because any of these trees would have like a really good angle on me. Like even these little ones, not the best cover, but like using it in a fight, kind of like how I was talking about earlier, can be like a, a pretty 
uh, like cheeky play that can get you like opening tags in a fight. And oftentimes in zero build, that's all it takes to win a fight is just getting opening tags. Like the the player who starts the fight with early damage has like a huge advantage in it, and that's why it's also like not the best. I feel like to just be walking around in zones like this. Like I'm doing it just because I want to fight some people, but like if I was only concerned about winning, I would just be chilling on that building that I went to earlier. The more you're running around in a, in a game that's just really stagnant with nothing going on, the more likely it is that someone can get opening tags on you. I feel like. I'm like pretty confused though because I feel like I cleared that entire side of zone I was on. Like I feel like if there's anybody else over there, I would have seen them. So I feel like most players kind of have to be in that area over there. But, okay, here we go. There's a fight going on. I was going to say, the fact that they haven't done anything to each other yet is kind of weird to me. That's unfortunate. I think if I was a little higher up on that tree. We would have been able to kill him there. But I landed on like not the highest part of it. That's so unfortunate man. There's a guy in that bush too. Like right there we just saw him. The in games are so weird this season, dude. Like, how all of that occurs and that player doesn't get shot when he's exposed to so many people? It's beyond me. You can see, like, a little piece of him peeking out of the bush. Oh my gosh, this player has godlike aim. And we might be dead here. I think I'm chilling. Jeez, man. More slurps. I'm just gonna go ahead and drink it. We have three opponents remaining. I'd rather just be max HP for it. Clear this bush. This house is in zone. I think we go for it. Or maybe we just get the tree? Two players remaining. It wasn't a tree. So there's two players left, they're both in bushes. I think one's in that bush, and one's in this bush. Rip. I was trying to land in that tree. See if there's any grenades on these players. No. My gosh, dude. Everybody's beaming me this game. I feel like it's so hard to do anything. Not what I want to do. Like this game I feel like would be so much easier to play. There we go. I was gonna say this game would be so much easier to play if one of them would just die. But like the fact that they were both there. Made it so much more inconvenient to play it. And that was actually my 100th solo win this season. But yeah, I didn't want to just hop on that man with no aim assist in the bush. When we could get third party, you know? Like, I feel like that's how a lot of these games have played for a lot of players this season. It's just like the fact that they're so stale makes the game and the fight so weird. Whereas like any of those players in just like a straight up 1v1 don't really have as much of a chance. But it's just like the slowness of every situation makes it so much more inconvenient to play. I, I do think that'll get better here shortly. There is an augment coming that will give you the flare gun. 
And I think the best strat in the game at that point in time will just be to save the flare gun as your last augment and then mark zone in game, and then you'll just have an easy time cleaning up all those ratty players. But that is going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys found it helpful and informative. If you did, remember to give us a like, subscribe if you like to see more, and comment down below which of the vault locations has been your favorite in Chapter 4 Season 2.